Hey guys, it's me Charuta and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to a vintage market here in Boston, which is called the Sova Vintage Market, and I'm super excited to explore that. And I've come to the art district, and I'll take you along. The Sova Vintage Market is at the Boston Art District, and it is at 450 Harrison Avenue, and it is a vintage market that is in the basement of the building. Once you enter the place, you see a lot of decor pieces like glassware, mirrors, chairs and the decor and the glassware here was really amazing and affordable as well. They also had a lot of vintage jewelry and the jewelry prices differed starting from $5 and going up to $200 and there were also a lot of vintage clothes like these vintage shirts. I especially liked this pale blue one but they were on the pricier side and of course this is what the decor dreams are made of vintage furniture and these candlesticks and these amazing vintage chairs the decor here was really amazing and the best part is that you can actually bargain with the sellers this vintage market is basically a lot of sellers coming together to sell their stuff i also absolutely loved this and this basically felt like a treasure hunt to me because there were so many vintage treasures to be found like these candlestick holders from the 60s these vintage new yorker posters and also this encyclopedia that i think is from either the 60s or the 50s so it's like a vintage lover's dream and these green glasses were sold for ten dollars for a pair i also found this place selling amazing vintage rings and i checked out this bowl that had rings for five dollars each and these were big statement rings this place also had some amazing vintage bracelets then i went on to the next place that had a lot of vintage clothes i like this blue top and this silk blazer and this beaded blazer as well they had a lot of kilt skirts as well this vintage market is open every sunday from 11 a.m to 4 p.m and it is a culmination of fashion decor memorabilia you'll also find vintage books and i also checked out very cool clothing pieces like this multicolored cardigan these plaid shirts and i also found this cute little typewriter some amazing vintage frames and it was unreal then i looked at some more vintage jewelry and it was so so pretty then i headed over to check out the clothes the clothes here were on the pricier side since they were vintage and i absolutely loved this shirt but it was for 35 dollars so in case you have a good eye you can go to any thrift store and like look for those vintage pieces but here they had an amazing curation of different kind of pieces so obviously i get it why they were on the higher side there were also a lot of cute colorful chunky knits and i absolutely loved this skirt but this was for 45 dollars next i went to a pop-up this is by an etsy store called labor and glean and she had some amazing true vintage pieces and i absolutely loved this pearl top and she also had these amazing coats so you definitely should check her out then we went into this shop which had amazing beads diy jewelry and finally we decided to go to this art gallery which basically houses different studios and galleries we visited three artist studios so this artist makes these tiles out of clay and then makes 
these amazing mosaic paintings which are super colorful fun and preppy and this was another artist that i absolutely loved he made such happy paintings i had an amazing conversation with him and he told me that these paintings take months to make Those were all the studios and the pop-up market and the vintage market that's in the basement. And there are a lot of independent shops as well and artist studios. So the prices at the market are a little expensive because it is a vintage market. But the home decor and the glassware, it's really, really nice. So in case you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.